Kenya started its three-day mourning period on Friday with flags flying half-mast in honor of the 10 military personnel who died in a helicopter crash Thursday night at Sindar area in Elgeo Marakwet County. Among the deceased is KDF boss General Francis Ogola, who has been described as a gallant officer who died in the line of duty. I am deeply saddened to announce the passing on of General Francis Omondi Ogola, the Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. The nation will observe a period of three days of mourning commencing tomorrow, the 19th of April, 2024. During this time of national mourning, the Kenya flag, the Kenya Defense Forces flag, the East African Community flag, and flags of all formations of the military shall fly at half-mast in the Republic of Kenya and in Kenya missions abroad. Following this announcement by President William Ruto, the national East African and military formation flags will continue to fly at half-mast for the next three days across the country and diplomatic missions abroad in honor of KDF boss General Francis Ogola and the nine gallant soldiers who died in a chopper crash last night. Military personnel led by General Ogola left Nairobi for the North Rift under the Operation Maliza Uhalifu campaign on Thursday, April 18th to visit soldiers deployed in the volatile area as well as inspect the progress of the renovation of five schools in El Geo, Marakwet and West Pokot counties before their chopper crashed at around 2.20 p.m., leaving 10 of them dead and two others injured. Ogola's family has announced that KDF boss General Francis Ogola will be laid to rest on Sunday at his home in Gia, Alego, Usonga, Siaya County. Ogola, who has left behind a widow, two children and one grandchild, in his will requested to be buried in less than 72 hours after his passing on, while Brigadier Swale Said has been laid to rest today in Utange, Mombasa County. I'm seeing very many sad faces, but general would just be wondering what people are so sad about, especially since he has prepared us for this day for a very long time. And uh, you, you guys look look a bit happier. even in death What is the issue? It is it's going to be well for all of us. Kenyans have since joined hands in sending messages of peace and condolence to the bereaved families while recognizing the resilience and effort the fallen soldiers put in on behalf of Kenya. Theo Masharia for KUTV News.